Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Lisa with Lisa's Faith and Scripture Writing Channel. I'm excited to be here today and Merry Christmas. I know it's a couple of days late. Um, this is the Wednesday after Christmas, but I hope you had an amazing Christmas with your family or friends, wherever you are in the world. Um, I hope it was a blessed and peaceful day and um, just we just had a good time. Um, it was just the four of us, me and my family, but we were just so thankful and grateful that my husband was home this Christmas. He, his previous job before we moved to where we are right now, um, if he had stayed with that job, he would have been deployed right now and um, as a contractor for the Navy. And he decided to change jobs in the middle of the year because he wanted to be home for Christmas and he got his chance to be home and God was good. He blessed us with, uh, everything we needed to um, switch jobs and find a new place and um, just so many blessings to be grateful for this Christmas and and I am praying for each and every one of you that God lifts you up um, in all your needs this Christmas season and going into the new year so that is a mouthful <laughs> and I am excited to get into my prayerful planner hear my prayers um, scripture writing and journaling prompt. I have my list right here and I am excited to see what it says here in the book of Mark chapter 11 verse 24. I have been reading it over and over again this morning and I read it in several versions. Um, ESV, NIV, uh, CSB, um, the Amplified, all of that. I've read them all and I already know which one my favorite is and you probably can guess which one if you've been on my channel or seen my videos, which one I'm going to choose. But if you haven't, you will get to find out. And if you're new, welcome. I'm excited to have you here. I'm just an everyday woman who is just trying to get closer to God and finding uh, big and small ways to do this. And this is one of my small ways of doing it. Once a week, I come on here and just chat with you guys about my process. Um, just the, writing out the scripture, see and reflect in my life and then journal about it and put down some stickers and have a little fun. So go ahead and get your journals out and um, journal with me and scripture write with me and let me know in the comments below. Uh, are you enjoying your uh, prayerful planner or whatever version you are using. If you're using a different plan, um, I would love to know and hear about your uh, scripture writing and journaling prompts um, experience, uh, stories, or how it may have guided you or your testimonies that has helped you grow or change or see things in a different light or perspective. And uh, I would love to talk to you guys in the comments about it. So um, let's kind of flip a little bit. I do want to go. This is the last one for the year of 2022. New Year's is this weekend coming up. And I'll just kind of flip through to the beginning. It's November of December. I don't want to do too much flipping. So I did do this plans for December. I do this every month. I don't really look back like I should. Um, I have great intentions too. And then... A routine of life I get busy so yeah I shouldn't I should come back to this more because I have great ideas and thoughts and then I forget about them and then I come here and show you guys again and I'm like I really should have thought of that I've only done the Wednesdays that I filmed for you so that is good um, that I didn't miss one and I stayed on top of that very well and I was able to do them on time for you guys so that's excellent um, this is the calendar I decorated with all the stickers that um, the the little pieces of um, decorations that you can cut out, uh, print on sticker paper and cut out. I fussy cut <laughs> all these stickers out and uh, in two different sizes, very large and small and um, or smaller size. And I think they turned out really good. I used some Erin Condren stickers for New Year's as well as Christmas. Uh, that I had left over from two or three years ago. I'm just using up what I have for the holidays and I love how it turned out. And just reminders, little things that I did or what happened and things like that. So back planning there and this was 18 days before Christmas. And I thought that was really cute to add these little stickers every Wednesday. But I always did it after the fact. I didn't do it with you guys. I just felt so bad. I always remembered after the fact. So I did get, I did enjoy putting the stickers down and putting my prayers in and journaling and the pages turned out beautiful. And I can't wait to see what this page transforms into for today. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and zoom you guys in. I'm going to go ahead and highlight and write a few things down 
and we are going to get started with today's scripture. Again, that's Mark 24, um, and we're going to journal a big prayer today is the uh, journaling prompt. So, and I love to journal my prayers. I, I like writing my prayers down because many times when I'm praying in my head, it's, it's a hot mess in there, and I can't stay focused on one train of thought. A bunch of things try to overtake one another. So in order to keep my train of thought, I can. Tr I like to write it down. I like to write down my prayer and get through that. And then God reveals to me a lot of times when I write things down, um, things I didn't know I was going to be thinking until I started writing it. And what he wants me to know, or where he wants me to focus, or where he's guiding me in that prayer. Um, I think it's just beautiful that he does that for me. And um, I'm excited to see what he has today, because this is a big prayer today. So we'll see what the big prayer is. I have no idea. <laughs> so it'll be a surprise to everybody. Um, so I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. So I have everything laid down that I want. I'm writing in blue because my previous page I think I wrote in blue as well, but I'm also going to need my red pen because the, today's verse is Christ speaking. And if you have a red letter um, book or um, app where Jesus speaks and it's printed in red, I like to write it in red because then I immediately know when I look at that page, that verse was a scripture that Jesus spoke. And I want to um, recognize this is him actually speaking. Um, comparatively to basically any other verse. Um, he may not be speaking, but he's in every verse. So, <laughs> uh, But this is during the New Testament time period when he was walking on earth in his ministry. And um, I am enjoying going through the Gospels. I'm enjoying um, watching things like The Chosen and reading uh, scripture, um, reading the Bible, reading... Um, with my church and um, all these areas in my life where there's opportunities to learn more about Christ. So I just like when it needs to stand out like that and I want to know more about him, I want to write it down like that with the red pen. So here I am, um, Wednesday, December 28th, and I want to read this at the top. This is John 15, 4. It says, remain in me as I also remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. And that is a great reminder that, you know, we have to rely on him and that we're connected to him in order to produce the fruit of helping others see Christ and hopefully uh, lead them to know him and they them ultimately accepting him. He saves people. We don't save people. So, um, but we shine the light of the salvation and share the scripture and our testimony and all of those wonderful things in order to um, help lead them in the direction of Christ. And so I've always heard it in that context with this verse. And I love that reminder that, you know, it's, it's, Christ's relationship with the person that he's dealing with. Um, it's that relationship. It's their responsibility in that we just get to be this light and just shine and share the words and the testimony and what he's done for us and with us. And um, we can't bear any fruit um, and helping others unless it's with him. We can't do it on our own without him. So I love that it's teamwork and it's, you know, where we are with him. And yeah, I, I like that reminder that this is not, that's not the kind of burden I need to carry, uh, or responsibility that he carries the weight of what is necessary. So, um, let me go ahead and highlight this because I want to mark that I've read it. Uh, if I can get my highlighter open here. And there we go. So I have read that. And now I'm going to move on to praise. So um, I just want to thank the Lord. Mm 
And I have so many testimonies of little things that um, God has done and big things that God has done in my life. Um, if I just filter and think about everything through his eyes and what he's done in my life, um, it's it's when when you sit down and contemplate it, especially if you're not really in a good mental place, um, you feel maybe sad or depressed or down, like nothing's going right. Um, you could definitely reflect back on and be grateful for what he has provided and start with the small things and then really grow from there. And, and all of a sudden you're not as depressed anymore. You're not as sad anymore. Uh, sometimes it's hard to get out of those things, but it, there's always that, always that potential to do so. And I'm like, wow, that's amazing. So, um, I like when he um, shows us those little opportunities to share and have our own testimonies that bring light to who he is and his love for everyone, no matter who they are. So, um, yeah, I love that he's working on me with that. Physical health, um, just keep praying. Um, I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow. Uh, my numbers, my cholesterol is high, but my other numbers were fine. And um, so we've got to find a medication that's going to work with me that's not going to cause increased pain or difficulty with hands and feet with my neuropathy. And, um, and see what else may be going on with my body. I'm not sure what else to call it. Uh, not all of it's neuropathic. Some of it is um, just heightened sensitivity to my skin and um, the muscles underneath, so I'm not sure what that's about. Um, if you have information on that, because I have diabetes, let me know. I'm in constant foot pain, so I'm not sure what that's about. So um, pray for a doctor's appointment and answered prayer and um, direction. Let's see, what do I want to say there? And um, all health needs. <laughs> There we go. All right, so that is that for health. And then what else is there? Um, I guess that's it. Now we get to go into the best part, I think, of scripture writing and journaling prompt, which is reading the scripture, reading three versions of the scripture, and um, getting to write it down and talk about what it's saying, what it means, um, what direction it's gonna take you. Um, this is just my story. This is just my direction that God takes me in and hopefully it blesses you and um, Let's see what he has to say today. So uh, Mark 11 in the ESV uh, Verse 24 is a very familiar verse. I've heard it preached on many many times In fact, the whole passage is very familiar. This is the withered fig tree where the, you know the previous day the rabbi uh, cursed this little tree this little fig tree and it will uh, wither away to its roots. And then when the, the um, let's see, what did they say? Uh, and Peter, they're talking about Peter here. He remembered the story, he remembered the curse, and he looked and saw the tree and it was withered. And, and Christ used it as a moment to tell them about faith and and take you know and believe in what you pray for and have faith in what you're praying for and all of that so the section we're going to read is right here it says therefore i tell you whatever you ask in prayer believe that you have received it and it will be yours i always thought that was kind of a conflicting prayer for a long time i'm like i can ask for anything and we can ask for anything may not get everything, but we can ask for anything we want. Um, and I think that's great. Um, I think that's wonderful that we can ask for anything and everything. Um, but you got to remember in the context of this, we're talking about you're a believer. So you're aligning your heart with God. And because he's in you, the things you're going to ask for may not be what somebody would ask for if um, they were a non-believer and they're trying to follow this as well. So, or, or twist this for their own benefits or whatever. Uh, so let's look at the NIV. 
And I don't think it's much different. It just says, therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. The key here is believe whatever you ask in prayer. And if we're asking and we're upright and righteous with Christ, because he is our righteousness, then we're going to ask for the things that are under what is considered God's will and part of his character. And I think that is so beautiful. And when you believe that he can do anything, then believe you've received it and have confidence in that. I mean, the more we practice that confidence in it, the better um, I think our relationship with Christ will be. This other one I want to read, um, Therefore I tell you everything you pray and ask for, believe that you have received and it will be yours. Received it and it will be yours. So that's not much different. Um, CSB, it's a new version I'm getting used to reading. Um, but the last one is my favorite. And I know I said three, I did four. Um, this one always helps me the most, the Amplified. Here it is. So for this reason, I am telling you whatever things you ask in prayer in accordance with God's will, believe with faith confident trust that you have received them and they will be given to you. Now for, for my brain, that makes so much more sense than just say, ask for whatever. I need the extra affirmation of a reminder that I am a Christian, that I, I, I want God's will. And when I go into prayer, it's about God's will. Um, and whatever I ask in prayer in God's will, then I should believe it with complete confidence and trust. And I am still learning how to be confident and trusting in that. Um, I am still wavering in that area. I have struggle with that, trying to um, believe a heavenly father and uh, trust things. I have a lot of trust issues that are kind of being revealed to me um, in, in a fatherly kind of way. Um, and so I'm like, I, I'm really having a hard time trusting with confidence when I pray and I want to grow in that area and I'm glad I can recognize it and he's going to show me and re help me recognize that. So I'm going to write the amplified cause obviously that's always my favorite. And I love this is the last verse for 2022 and excited for 2023. Um, and I will be getting the new planner. I got to go ahead and order it and or purchase it and download it um, for me to print for next year. But this is amazing. And I love that this is our verse this year. So I'm going to go ahead and write this verse. And then I'm going to come over here and journal and write my big prayer. I don't know what it is. God, please help me with my big prayer. I'm not sure where direction to go there, but I'm sure he will guide me on that. Thank you, Lord. And uh, we'll go ahead and get started. And I will go ahead and fast forward through this part, play some music, and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. So I did my journal prompt. I wrote down the scripture um, in the amplified version, uh, which is my favorite, especially for reading comprehension issues that I struggle with all the time, um, trying to get the entire meaning out of what scripture is trying to say. So I definitely love using the amplified version. I just wish my Bible app would have it an audio version of that. But I can understand why somebody wouldn't want to read that much. <laughs> you got to read the entire Bible. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of addition to the Bible. So my journal prompt here. Very interesting. Am I zoomed all the way in? Hold on a second. Uh, all right. I was not sure what direction I was going to go with the journal prompt because it's, to me, very a bold thing to say. Um, a big prayer. So what is a big prayer? What does that mean? How does... How do you feel about a, a big prayer um, and, and things like that? So I was sitting here thinking, okay, Lord, what direction do you want me to go? 
And I just started with my typical, uh, Lord, I pray to you today about, and then things started flowing out. Um, my Christian faith, a walk with, um, and walk with my Christian faith and walk with you. I pray you grow me in the area of obedience, trust, and faith in you. I do apologize. My handwriting is horrible. I'm just jittery this morning. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I pray I grow to become bold in my belief and prayer life. I want to reflect what this verse is saying. I want to, I don't want to, as I think I heard Joyce Meyer say the other day on one of her videos, uh, I don't want to give up a wimpy prayer when he's asking me to pray boldly and big. I, I, I want to be confident in my prayer life and, and I want to believe in what I'm praying as it's as said in accordance to this and in, in my prayer life and ask for what his will is um, and desire uh, for me to ask boldly. I, I I think because we don't really know or have clarity, we don't step out in faith. And I don't think that's really what it, um, always how it works. Sometimes it is. Um, but I think stepping out in faith and starting asking big and boldly while we're asking, he clarifies things and he brings confidence in. And I just pray I do become more confident in my prayer life um, and ask for what his will and desire is for me and um and f what his will and desire is uh i pray you draw me closer to you in jesus name amen so uh, that that was my big prayer that was me being big and bold um there's so many individual things i could pray for you know heal my diabetes or or whatever um and that is a big and bold prayer um but at the same time I want it to encompass more than just one thing. Though if he's calling you to s just pray on one thing, then that is what you should do. Whatever God is telling you to do, that is what you should do. You shouldn't do um, anything else but what he's calling you to do. So that is what I have today as far as my journal prompt and my big prayer. Um, I would love to hear about yours if you want to share or talk about you know, a direction that he was guiding you. You don't have to write your whole prayer or anything, but if there was a topic that he was like get, guiding you on, I'd love to hear about that. And now it's time for a little bit of fun and stickers. So I do have my uh, Peace Within, uh, Essential Seasons, and Marble Faith uh, Happy Planner stickers. I'm going to go ahead and move things around a little bit so that I have room to move this piece of paper without bumping in the stuff. There we go. Now we got the bottom half to play with. So um, let's look some of the big scripts here and how I want to write my prayers. Um, just my top three prayers. Um, I don't like, I don't do top three priorities, but I do top three prayers. Um, those are my priorities. So, um, so I'm just kind of flipping through this book I have. Um, and see what inspires me. I love these squigglies, but I always forget to use them. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with those. Maybe I will use... I'll think about using those for the prayers. I might use some from out of here, too. I love these big scripts. I think... All right, so I'm going to put my winter stuff down. I think I'm going to use this book here, and I'm going to go ahead and, and lay down some stickers and finish off December. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. So I have finished my um, page for my last scripture writing and journaling prompt for the year, though I am not stopping here. I am going to continue in 2023. Um, I'm really enjoying this and enjoying um, this community on this channel. And I hope you are enjoying this too. And look forward to spending more time with you guys. I think this turned out really, really cute. I'll zoom in just a bit here so you can see all the design here. 
and I'll cover this side up because that was last week's but this is this week's um, uh, I think it turned out really really cute uh, the snow globe and the house and the penguin I love penguins they're just so cute fluffy they make great stuffed animals and adorable I just really uh, loved how this turned out I did use this sticker it says good things ahead and then I put little bullet points here and the three main things that God has been leading to me to remember to pray and not only remember to pray but keep on my mind in prayer um, daily continuously praying without ceasing is the prayer of um, my husband and our marriage my sons and their future and my parents and my in-laws and their future um, kind of sandwiched between two generations so and have a big responsibility for both and I really am um, not burdened I'm burdened but not negatively burdened I am I'm trying to have that healthy balance of what is needed um, of me uh, to take care of the needs of the future because it seems like everything is out of my hands and out of my control right now so I do pray that um, God keeps guiding me there and opening my heart and my mind to communicate more with him on that I did put the script here as prayer so you know this is a prayer and added that on top and um, I put this quote over here I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears Psalms 34 4 I thought that was a beautiful quote to put in with all of this especially during this time of year and um and just a reminder that he is with us and all we gotta do is just reach out and call his name and he's right here so um, I feel very blessed that he chose me to be a part of his community of his uh, chosen children in this uh, lifetime and uh, in the next so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up if you want to see more of my videos please subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time have an amazing blessed day bye